Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Till now, we were looking at cars that were the best value. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I will link it down in the comment section. So let's take a look at some cars that we can turn into powerful monsters. Before that, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and a sub would be amazing. BMW 3 Series E30 The E30 generation 3 series is a wonderful platform for a build. It's light, balanced, and since it's been around for so long, the aftermarket has solved nearly every problem you can imagine with these cars. Turbo kits, suspension packages, engine swap kits, and anything else you can think of. For many years, the E30 has been the classic of choice for those with a more enthusiastic driving style, especially the 325i sports model with their LSDs. E30s are hugely popular when it comes to the amateur motorsport. One of the main reasons for this is that the rear wheel drive front engine format is perfect when it comes to learning how to control a car on a circuit. 1.6 liter, 1.8 liter and 2 liter cars all seem fairly pedestrian in the speed stakes. But all of them will be a barrel of laughs when pushed through the bends. The standard 325i offers the best bang for your buck, producing 169 horsepower out of the box. A 325i can be bought for as little as $1800. The E30 is a superb car that has stood the test of time. Its styling still looks fresh while decent build quality and a growing following have ensured the survival of many cars. They also fit right in at classic shows, track days or simply on the daily commute. Parts are cheap and plentiful and there are regular club events to attend. There is an E30 to suit every budget and both entry level models and more powerful 2.5 liter cars can be affordable propositions. A hugely practical and stylish car then but the icing on the cake must surely be the legendary reputation for reliability that BMWs of this era enjoy. A well maintained E30 will be among the most reliable classic cars at any show and will devour mile after mile on twisty B roads, motorways and everything in between. It's the ideal daily driver and weekend show car. But as the E30 becomes more and more popular as full on classic car, its successor the E36 is coming into its own as a more affordable choice for those looking for modified BMW fun. And just like the E30, this car also has a huge aftermarket support. Volkswagen GTI The Volkswagen GTI received a minor facelift for 2017 which included new bumpers, new LED headlights, new LED tail lights and new wheels. It remained the same for 2018. Under the hood, it is powered by a 4-cylinder 2-liter turbocharged engine and have a good choice of 6-speed manual or 6-speed DST auto manual gearboxes. It features a body kit with built-in rear diffuser and wider side sills. Compared to the regular Golf, the GTI also rides on 17-inch or 18-inch wheels with lower suspension. Inside it gets sportier seats, steering wheel and pedals than the standard Golf. Features include CD MP3 stereo, USB auxiliary ports, Bluetooth, multiple airbags, optional sunroof, smart keyless entry and start, common power accessories and more. Between the front seats, space is increased under the new electronic parking brake with the auto hold feature. The gold steering now uses a variable ratio electric system and with optional park assist, it can park the car automatically. It is also available with driver profile selection which allows the driver to choose from several mods that alter the throttle mapping and engine management to the chosen style such as Eco and Sport. For 2016, a limited edition 40th anniversary Club Sport variant was also released with a more powerful engine and a revised body kit. Along with the DSG gearbox, 6-speed manual transmission was offered later on for the Club Sport. If you are ready to spend some money in this car, you can turn this car into a supercast layout. There are a lot of cheap aftermarket tuning kits and performance modes available for GTIs as they are owned and beloved by a lot of car enthusiasts. Volvo A50 T5 or T5R When it arrived in 1991, the Volvo A50 was a game changer for its maker, even if it didn't look like one. It marked a turning point for Volvo because it finally saw that most conservative of Swedish car makers fully embrace front wheel drive. 10 years after most of the opposition. Top of the new range at launch was the T5, a turbocharged 5-cylinder sporting model with 230 horsepower on tap. 
and a little visual clue to its near 150 mile per hour capability. Two years later, that was trumped by the T5R, and it was this car that really caused people to sit up and take notice. With a wheel spin inducing 250 horsepower from its turbocharged 2435 cc engine pumped through the front wheels, there was a Volvo that was both safe and practical yet also fast. Thanks to the exploits of Tom Wackenshaw racing in British touring cars, the estate will always be remembered for its exploits on the track. T5s are seriously quick. T5 saloons or estates replaced senators on many police fleets. Also it has a rock solid build quality with good predictable and safe handling. This car was more fun to drive than any previous Volvo. It actually changed the image of the company itself. BMW 335i E90 series. It might seem a little strange to see another mid-range BMW on the list. But in reality, the turbocharged N54 straight 6 under the hood of 335i can handle massive amounts of power without a crazy amount of work. The 335i is a serious contender in a straight line performance with serious horsepower available with nothing more than an ECU tune. Let learn the further performance and reliability created by other add-ons. The amount of torque available almost instantly at low revs makes it the most amazing everyday car. And the fuel economy at cruising speed is unbelievable for the level of performance you have on tap. The handling is very comfortable and precise as we have come to expect from the 3 series. For the performance in mind, the platform is able to accept most suspension components and cosmetic upgrades from the M Sport range. Some of which can be chosen to enhance the M Sport package the car originally came with. One advantage of this model being born 10 years ago is also that there is a flood of quality aftermarket performance products now available. So the opportunity to have a very special sports vehicle with all the everyday driving advantages of the mighty N54 twin turbo engine drive line. Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG W211. This was the most powerful E55 AMG ever when it launched in 2002, which got 34% more power and an extra 32% of pound-feet torque over the previous naturally aspirated, which was once a seriously fast E55. It has enough grunt to qualify this E55 as the quickest production sedan in the world during that time. It would rip to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, which was ahead of Audi's claim for RX6 and was quicker than the then M5. It is even fast considering today's standards. Mercedes E55 AMG W211 is the best AMG. It is not showing on the outside, but it is a monster on the inside. This car is not for beginners. It is just too fast. It is one of the best sleepers to own. It is very comfortable in normal suspension mode and you will not feel anything from the transmission in comfort mode. But if you want to get a car that takes under 4.5 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, this is one of the best and affordable options. Being cheap doesn't mean that it is a cheap car after all. You have to treat it like a proper powerful car and maintain it properly or you will face some serious expenses. The base engine was already on the market from 1998 and the transmission setup was already available from 1995. So all the bad bits were solved and figured out by the time this car came to the market. With normal maintenance, this car will do easy 500k miles. On paper, the SL55 was the fastest with this M113k base engine with 4.3 second, but the E55 AMG reportedly did 0 to 60 in under 4.2 seconds. The E55 AMG W211 can be picked up for the prices from around 10k up to 30k depending on mileage. This car was the best sold AMG up to the point of C63 AMG and it was only produced from 2002 to 2006. It was also the fastest four-door saloon car on the market until S65 AMG was introduced. This is a must-have car on the bucket list if you are a car enthusiast. This is the best horsepower for the money. This list is not in any particular order and it all depends on your budget and interests. If you stuck around till the end, thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a whole lot more videos like this in the future. So leave a thumbs up and a sub would be amazing. Also leave your thoughts down in the comment section. My name is Jitin and I'll catch you in the next one.